And unfortunately, say what you will about Blizzard, and I love them to death, but when it comes to their games, when it comes to a lot of clothing designs, a lot of their end game content, their thought process tends to resolve around, let's see how much stuff we can fit on one character. So you get to the point where you're just like, hey guys, I'm just a mountain of metal. Walking around, doing my thing. Now they also have some very good looking gear, but it used to be that if you wanted to wear good looking stuff, you had to take off the hits to your stats. Oh god, chicken, that is terrifying too. Living in Michigan in the United States, we have plenty of run-ins with ticks. Probably not as much as further south, but they do come out quite in force around here, too. And ugh. I've never had the same instance of ticks that I had with leeches. Now, ticks do kind of creep me out because a leech, you know you've removed a leech when you've removed it. But a tick... If you aren't careful, the head will continue to burrow into you if you've left parts of it in you. Uh, this is a nest. Can we blow it up? It's an unused nest. Okie dokie! Hey, what's up, dude? Hey, he's fine. Drop some on high. Wonder who this is. <laughs> nice, Nico. My roommate was like that in college terrified of spiders. I love spiders. Alright, this is a boss, so... Surprise! Oh my god, it was... Oh wait, 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 wait. We gotta take the mask off before the, uh, the big reveal moment. I can't take off the mask during combat? Oh well, okay, apparently... Apparently the white wolf is borrowing Geralt's gear. Oh, this isn't like your standard harpy. You can't take her down with a crossbow. Maybe we need a stronger one. If nothing else, we can cause a bleed effect. Oh, you know what? I bet if we parry her when she's coming in for an attack, we can probably get her down. Are you? Yeah, that was a good plan. Good one, dear. That was that was good. All right, try that again. Oh, she actually went down that- oh, Jesus. Alright, so apparently fire will take her down. Okay. Ah! I didn't expect her to land on me! Well, that was effective! Put me out! Put me out! Duh! Ha ha! Eight-legged freaks? That was a good movie. Well, okay, it was a terrible movie, but it was kind of fun. Yeah, I do the same thing, Morgana. I'm kind of a minimalist when it comes to my characters in Diablo. Not like, look at my chainmail bikini kind of minimalist, but more of the, um, like, the unassuming wizard. You might happen upon my character and be like, oh, this person's a piece of trash, and then I just go, Pfft. so. Now, one thing that I have often had to stop and come to terms with in terms of spiders is when I play games like, uh, Dungeons and Dragons, Baldur's Gate, Neverwinter Nights. That is a moment where I kind of have to stop and sort of go, you know, maybe spiders aren't so great. Because when I actually stop and think about it, spider. Spider. You know, spiders that have a body as big as your human body, and then the spindly legs coming off of that. That, that, that can get pretty damn creepy. So... Can we pop these? Please? 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 
needs three nests? Wasteful. Just wasteful. Mr. Witcher, kill me a beast. Bring me the meat so I can make you a feast. I am bringing you orange, so Mr. Witcher, bring me a beast. A bum 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 bum. Hello. Oh my God! It's crabs. That's not something you want to hear, surprisingly. All right, Nico. Thank you very much for stopping by. I hope to see you again. Oh my lord, it's crabs. Thanks, Curly. Yeah, I have no, uh... originality when it comes to the name of my characters. My sorceress is named Tynissa. And that is who I primarily play. And then I also have a crusader named Tyna. Michael might not like me singing his song. I'm not sure if he's the Sandman necessarily. Although I guess he puts people to sleep permanently. Peace and butt grease. <laughs> nice. That's a good way to say goodbye. How I click. Is very hard. Is very tough. Let's quick save. Let's jump ah. in here. Let's get rewards. Make in money. <sighs> Yourself. See you not from round here. What's brought ye to speaker of? Heard you've got a job for a witcher. Aye. My sister's near drilled a hole in me, got pestering me. I hung her notice, hoping she'd let up. Truth be told, didn't really expect anyone to take an interest. What's this about? My sister's betrothed. He's disappeared. Folks say he done a runner. Sis claims she saw a beast carry him off. Found an old echidna in a cave on the shore. Tough beast, but I killed it. Treacherous, those caves. Folk used to make sacrifices to melt the scene there. So Brit spoke the truth. An echidna napped her nils. Feel like a damn fool now, not believing me own sis. Yeah, you jerk face. Give me some money. This. Hard work deserves payment. Uh those birds Farewell. were flying through rocks. That's okay, bye birds, they're magical. See, I used to do that for my characters, Morgana, in uh, in World of Warcraft. Because obviously all the pre-generated names were taken. So I would usually just go to, like, Google word search. And just type in, like, female baby names. Or male baby names. Or non-gendered baby names. And then I would find something that kind of struck a chord with me. And then I would change it enough to make it my own. So, oh my god, there's a box on me. Sea chicken, to be honest, I was hoping something like that would happen the first time I saw a crab going. So I ran over to it and it just walked away from me. Kind of like, oh crap, I owe that guy money. So, save and loot. Save and loot. Um, now, unfortunately, that derailed us from our um, finding our weapons here. Oh, d wait, we missed it? Are you kidding me? Wow, and I thought I was pretty thorough in that cave. I got distracted by the boss. I'm pretty sure that's how that works, yes, Chicken. Remember that time you didn't believe me when I said my betrothed got carried away by an echidna? Well, your face is on fire. Would I lie? Tavern! Yes, tavern. Tavern. I'm going to do that right now, because otherwise I'm going to keep forgetting. I have a quest to remind me 
to go and find the siren gear or the uh, the bear gear. Tavern, 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 tavern. Ta Where's the tavern? Is this the town? Is it not open at night? Oh my god, it's a goose. Oi! Got your goose in a gander? Have I played Gwent against you? What brings it to me? Daha! We will get to the tavern, the but this is my version. The game of Gwent would be best. Geralt as a merman. Except he'd probably end up looking like the fish guys from Darkest Dungeon, and that's that's no bueno. So we should probably take these guys out and put in something that's remotely more useful. Problem is, I don't want to make my deck too strong again. We could put in two PFIs. Doesn't my head get hot? No. Uh, for egg your mom, it is... We keep our house somewhere in the vicinity of between 60 and 70 degrees Fahrenheit, which is what, like... Between 20 and 23 Celsius, something like that. Um, yeah. And I'm in the colder part of the house, so... It's colder here than the rest. Uh, now where, what do we want to put? We could just put... Let's put Vesemir. And let's put Zoltan. Let's put Good Bros in. Good Bros! Oh, wait, do we already have Vesemir in this deck? Um, Vessi? Oh, we do. Uh, we're not putting Siegfried. We're not going to put Vess. I don't know who that is. I don't want Death Mold. Dude is creepy as fluff. Alright. We've been in her, so let's put her in our deck. You live in the mountains? Oh, well, it's probably colder than you. I'm a wuss! I originally came from Arizona in the United States, so I went from the deserts to the frozen wastes of Michigan. Uh, it's not quite that bad. I live just outside of Detroit, so it's not the wastes. Well, some would argue that. I'm not going to argue that. I need a spy. He's not a spy. Um, this isn't the worst hand in the world. They're playing Nilfgaard, so they're gonna have a couple of spies. That's pretty much a given. Uh, so let's open up with Geralt and see what our options are. They'll play a spy, probably. Oh. Surprise, surprise. Not a spie. Come on, man. You're Nilfgaard. You've got to have a bunch of spies. Otherwise, that's not a real Nilfgaard deck. We might lose this if he doesn't have spies. Because if he doesn't have spies, I was counting on decoying his spies. Alright, when we play this, he's probably going to scorch them. So the other option that we have is we could play a Warhorn on them. Um, another option is we could play Dandelion just to waste a churn. We could decoy something also to waste a churn. We could scorch his emissary, but that's going to be kind of pointless because it's almost certain he has more than one emissary, which means we could scorch both of them. Wasting time does kind of sound like the best idea because that'll protect us from Scorch. And right now our best bet is to win this round so we get an extra card. Maybe we'll draw a Spy. If we draw a spy, that can get things rolling. Alternatively, we need to wait for him to play spies, so that kind of takes playing a decoy off the field. So, that being said, we're gonna waste a turn with Dandelion. We'll see what they do. There we go. Alright. I knew he was gonna start playing spies. It's Nilfgaard! That's true, Chicken, but I don't think I've played a Nilfgaard deck yet that didn't have at least one spy. And if he has medics, that wouldn't do us any good, because neither of us would have spies then. To be fair, the area where I lived in Michigan was almost on the border of Canada. 